Now, now they will go to smaller and smaller transistor. What is the scaling challenge? The problem is if I make the source and drain very close to each other, the gates cannot control it. What is a transistor? Transistor is that you control the channel current through, flow through this gate, right? You turn it on and off. When we make the transistor smaller and smaller, it cannot control the region far away from it. And then you have a lot of leakage current. What's the problem of having leakage current? Power equal to CV squared times F plus I of times VDD. So even you are not switching, if you have a large I off, you have a lot of leakage power. Remember, we did a calculation. We showed that if you have one nano ampere of leakage and you have one billion transistor, then you have one M of current flowing. Even you shut off your device, right? What can we do? This is what happened, right? When we go to smaller and smaller gate length. Now, this is so-called IDVG in low scale. If you're not familiar with this, I would like you to be very familiar with it now. In the past, you only learned about the linear scale, right? IDVG, this is linear. And you always say that, okay, this is VTH. And then the current is almost zero when it is less than VTH. But this is not true. If you put in low scale, yeah, it's very small, 10 times, 1 million times, 1 billion times smaller, but still a lot. When you multiply 1 billion transistor, there's a lot of leakage. That's why we need to look at the linears in the low scale. Okay. So because of this, we come with a new idea. We say, how about this? I cut off the leakage by putting the transistor on outside, on an insulator. Isn't that that will reduce the leakage? So this is the so-called silicon on insulator, right? Many of you, if you go to industry, you will decide this. Global Foundry is very good in silicon on insulator. And some of you may even say, well, if the technology is available, what if I just make two gates surrounding it? That also good. That is called double gate, right? And of course, people come up, this is difficult to fabricate if you have one on top of a wafer, one buried into the wafer. So what people did is they invented this FinFET. In FinFET, here is the source, here is the drain, and the gate is wrapping around. I think I asked you last time already, what's the difference between FinFET and nano, and nano sheet, right? Here, FinFET wrapping around, so the left and right will have a better gate control, right? So if you cannot see this, if I call this A, this B, then B is this side, A is another side. Is this okay? Any question on what is the structure of SOI and FinFET? Right? If okay, let's quickly see how we make a FinFET. We start with silicon on insulator, and then with the silicon, uh, we start with silicon dioxide and then silicon. We pattern it, and this is the fin. And this is the so-called fin width. This is the fin height. Then what do we do? We deposit maybe polysilicon. Then we do CMP that I just told you. CMP is used very often in nowadays process, chemical mechanical polishing. It make it very even. And then you do lithography to pattern the gate, right? So this is the gate. The gate is surrounding it. And then we do source drain implant, implantation. Right? We may do some uh, offset spacer and then epitaxial go to make it larger. And then eventually you get a fin fat. Right, so what is, how do we read this one? This is a very simple picture, right? So how do we uh, understand this structure? Here is the source. The drain is the other side, and this is the gate. Here is the source. This is the gate, this is the drain. Here is the source, this is the gate, this is the drain. 
and that is a fin fat. You have the control from two sides. Is this clear? Any questions?